after college, luckily enough, you guys can imagine, I was in tears at that shocker. Um, I thought that my, my college career was over. You know, that was it. Oh my gosh, I love soccer. I, I can't believe it's over. Here comes the WSA. Perfect timing. Could not even handle it, right? So I'm like, all right, I'll play a couple more years. We'll see how it goes. I'll play, you know, if, if, I, if I get drafted. I don't even know if I'll get drafted, but I'm going to go to this combine and I'm going to see what happens. And went to the combine, 160 girls. Um, we're all trying out. Um, the next day, you know, they had the draft and it was, I think, the first two rounds. And you could go to the draft if you wanted. I was there, but I was like, I'm going to go have breakfast because I don't think I'm going to get drafted. So I'm in there, you know, with my Pop Tart. Someone comes up, is Heather Mitz in here? I'm like, I'm Heather Mitz. Uh, you just got drafted. I'm like, oh, okay, all right. So I'm just going there. I'm like, this is crazy, right? Uh, here I am, thinking I'm going to play just college, and I'm playing professional soccer. This is like a dream come true. Um, that was an amazing experience. I definitely love the WSA. Um, here I am, straight out of college, playing alongside Mia Hamm, uh, Julie Foudy, all the national team players. I mean, uh, it was so surreal. Um, Mark Akorian was my, my coach, and at the end of my first season, calls me in, you know, Mitzi, let's have a talk about, you know, your goals. And I said, okay, Mark, you know, I would just, I would love to be a WSA All-Star. You know, that's, that's good enough for me. I said, why aren't you even mentioning playing on the national team? And I just, for me, that was not even a thought of mine. That wasn't something that I felt like I could possibly get to. And he's, I remember he had said, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And I will always remember that quote. Um, he said, it's going to take a while, but if you think about it, you'll eventually get there. So I started to kind of plant that seed in my head. Oh, okay, sure. I'd love to play for the national team. Why not? Who doesn't want to play for the national team? Um, I started getting called in. I was caught a lot, more times than not. Always crying. Shocker once again. Um, but I tell you what, the one thing that I did learn from all those times of getting cut, I didn't just sit there and go, okay, yeah, I got cut. I should have made it. No, there's a reason why I didn't make it. And I was very honest with myself. Um, I always worked on the things that I knew that I needed to be better at. I would go get feedback from the coaches. I would just do everything possible just to get a little bit better between the next camp. And that was my goal. I always remember the quote, tell me I can't, then watch me work twice as hard to prove you wrong. I definitely live by that. 